if faith is about lifestyle and faith is about personal transformation, then I should never think I have enough until I've got it all. I should never be satisfied in the middle. Uh, I should never be satisfied with, I've acquired a little bit of biblical literacy and I've acquired, acquired a little bit of theological knowledge and my, my life is a little bit better than it used to be. I should be dissatisfied with any evidence of an inconsistency between what I say I believe and how I'm actually living. Uh, I will make this confession. I get way too ir easily irritated. Uh, I'm often impatient in places where I should be willing to wait. Uh, I still am way too attracted to the physical things of this earth. Uh, I own more shoes than any man should ever, <laughs> ever own. Luella keeps saying, look at your shoes. There's something wrong with you. <laughs> it's not a good thing. Uh, I'm capable of being envious of the story of someone else, of on a tough day saying, that this, why does this stuff have to happen? It just drives me crazy. And what God has been pressing into my heart is I can't be honest about Paul Tripp and be satisfied at the same time. Because clearly, God's not done. Clearly, I'm in the middle of the narrative. Clearly, I'm not at the last chapter yet. Let me read the final two verses. And all those, though commended through their faith, are ready for this, did not receive what was promised, since God had provided something better for us, that apart from us, they should not be made perfect. It's the theology of incompletion. Do you know what I said? It's a theology of incompletion. Uh, we don't get completion. We get incompletion. Because here's what God will only be satisfied with. It is found in Revelation, these words, Behold, I have come to make all things new. I love Christmas hymns. I think some of the best theology ever sung is in Christmas hymns. I love the phrase in the well-known Christmas hymn that says, He comes to make his blessings known. Do you know what the next phrase is? Far as the curse is found. What a beautiful summary of this, what I just read. That God's plan is wherever sin has done its damage, he will not be satisfied till that is fully renewed. Uh, if God is not satisfied yet with your renewal, you should not be either. And so all of these saints were part of a narrative, but they didn't get to experience the final chapter. And so it's right to be dissatisfied. It's right to cry out for more. It's right to have your eye on the future. It's right to live with longing. Listen, faith produces longing. Faith produces expectancy. Faith produces dissatisfaction. 